Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So my name is Sandra and today I am going to be sharing with you guys my sunglass collection. I really like sunglasses in general as you will see by my collection and the variety in this video. So starting off with this pair of Prada sunglasses which I think are very nice and kind of cheek. I don't even know if that's how you said it but I hope you know what I mean. I really like these. Next up are these sunglasses that I actually got in like a local store in LA. I don't even remember the name of the store. But I remember I got in there and everything was so expensive as you can imagine. And it was just like a trendy store. But I sell these sunglasses and they were so overpriced. I think I paid like 20 bucks and they are not comfortable. I really don't reach out for these but I do still think they're pretty. I just don't really wear them but hey, they're cute. These Ray-Bans were my first and only pair of original Ray-Bans that I own. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Ray-Bans. I think I ha everyone had like that face where we were using like fake Ray-Bans, you know, the ones with really funny colors. But anyways, I really like these and especially because they're pink and you know, they're good for like driving, road trips. I don't know, that's what I associate Ray-Bans with. Or like going to the beach. They're like adventurous glasses in my opinion. These sunglasses are so flirty in my opinion and were one of my favorites for the longest times but unfortunately they did not age well as you can see by the little gummy thingy that goes on your nose and also the lens itself. I did clean all of my sunglasses before filming this video and unfortunately these are just like stained badly. I do remember getting these in a local store in like Rebozo, New Mexico and I wish I would have taken better care of them because I really like these sunglasses although I might be a little bit too old for them. <laughs> That made me sound really old. I'm actually 23. I think I got these when I was like 19. I know I'm not that old, but you know, I just, it's different. I don't know. If I'm correct, these are the first pair of luxury sunglasses that I've ever owned. And these are just some Versace sunglasses that I adore so much. Everything about it, the little handle, the frame of it, it just looks so flattering in my opinion because it's not too squared, it's not too round. It's just like very good in between. I love this pair with all my heart. Definitely my favorite. These sunglasses are from Quay. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But anyways, I adore these sunglasses so much and they're very, they were very affordable too. So if you're looking for really pretty designs, a nice price tag and very good quality, I highly recommend this brand. I definitely will be purchasing more from them, but for now, this is the only pair that I owned. For now. These sunglasses are from Dolce & Gabbana and honestly, I don't really reach out for them as much because they give me like Jeffree Star vibes and <laughs> that was my impersonation. Anyways, like nothing wrong with them. Well, like, I, anyways, so I just, I don't think they're very flattering in my opinion, like, but they're super comfortable, super comfortable. They slide in so easily, so that's what I like about them, but I just really don't reach out for them. Like, it's just really not my style. These sunglasses are from Aldo. Yes, you heard me right. Aldo. I feel like a lot of people don't give Aldo that much credit, like not only for their shoes but also their accessories. I really like their style in my opinion. But anyways, these frames are from there and it came with like a really pretty sunglasses case too. And yeah, I really do reach out for these frames as well. These are from Tory Burch and I just really like Tory Burch in general so if you're listening please sponsor me. Anyways, I really like these just because of like the cool contrast between, well the combination of like blue and white. I definitely associate these with like summer and pool days. The only complaint that I have about these sunglasses is that they're so tight. They're really, really tight and I've worn them a couple of times. Well, like not a couple, like many times and they just don't seem to get loose. So I guess that tells you that they're a good quality. <laughs> Next up are these for Michael Kors and I would say that these are very similar to the Aldo ones except that there's like a contrast between like the border and the frame itself. Um, I really like these sunglasses too. I do reach out for them a little bit more than the Aldo ones I would say just because I feel like they're a little bit more sturdy but I really like these too. These sunglasses are from Forever 21, I believe, and you know what? I really like these sunglasses. The quality may not be the best. I'm, I know you know that you have tried Forever 21 sunglasses. They're a little bit flimsy, but they know how to make cute sunglasses. I really like these sunglasses. The little like legs, the pink frames, they're just so flirty in my opinion. I really, really do like these sunglasses. Next up are these sunglasses that just give me like cat, feline, feline, felino, feline, feline vibes. 
sorry bilingual problems anyways i feel like these were a trend and they passed on really quickly and i just really never got the chance to like wear them when they were like trending um i think they're cute but i just re really never reached out for them next up are these sunglasses which to be honest i have no clue how i got them but they give me like forever 21 vibes and look at that it looks like i have like <laughs> white eyes anyways i i mean they look pretty cool they give me like elton john vibes i don't know if, i don't know i just i don't wear these obviously i don't know how i obtained them um but they're that <laughs> as a reminder that it's okay to let your goofy side shine through <laughs> that tiktok killed me bro this pair belonged to a friend of mine and he just never got them back i do remember we were gonna meet up to you know give it back to him but that never happened so brian if you want your sunglasses just let me know <laughs> and this is the last pair of sunglasses that i have to show you guys today and the newest addition to the family collection anyway so these are just some prada sunglasses and i really like the combination between like white that like funny brown pattern i just I think it's very interesting intriguing mysterious sophisticated i don't know anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know by leaving a like and comment what collection you would like to see next because if there's anything that i love more than sunglasses it is shoes and purses and jewelry too not in that order feel free to let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and love you see you in the next one bye